Down one. That's as soon as you die, I'm down one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making adjustments and I'm coming back. <laughs> I want to kind of start things off with um, DeMar Hamlin, obviously, defensive back. What were your emotions seeing that on Monday? Uh, honestly, just shocked, man. Just one, you hate to see somebody going through that. Just praying for them, praying for, for him to pull through, and then just thinking about uh, his teammates, uh, thinking about the guys on the sideline, thinking about his family, and things like that. It's uh, something that, you know, when we suit up, we know we, we can risk injury, but we're never thinking life life and death. Uh, and uh, that's definitely tough to see. You can, you can see the NFL community kind of come together and just pull form. And, uh, definitely just, I mean, I just stopped. And me and my girlfriend just started praying for him right down there. And just, uh, just praying that God would heal him, God would pray for him, uh, give his, his family peace, his, his teammates, uh, give him some rest and peace, and just praying God's healing hands over him. How does seeing something like that I mean, put things in perspective a little bit? Yeah, like I said, uh, we all know that there's a risk being out there just in terms of you put your body on the line every week. But, uh, you know, definitely, I think in life, you know, once you put in perspective life first death, uh, I think, you know, just us as a humanity, we just have to think a little different. Uh, you know, uh, we all love the game of football, but it's, it's, it's never worth a life. Uh, so it definitely, definitely puts it in perspective, man. You definitely just keep on praying for him and praying that he keeps on going. I know you guys talked about it this morning. We were saying in the meeting, you guys kind of talked about it. What was what was said? And how are the guys feeling overall about, about witnessing something like that and, and seeing that from your peers? I think the biggest thing, which uh, you know Washington does, the NFL does, the NFLPA is just you know having those resources to be able to for us to go be able to talk to people, for us to get get our feelings out. If there's anything that needs to be done, so I think the biggest thing uh, you know that they can do for us is just those resources and things like that. I think the NFL has been doing a good thing over the years just trying to make the game safer we know it's a physical game but also trying to make it safer for guys and their health um, but the biggest thing was just you know he opened up his doors to us like hey if any of y'all want to come talk to me you know the doors are open so you know that's big and that's something that you know a lot of guys might need right now obviously i'm sorry no, go ahead. obviously to play this game you got to have a certain mentality to give it all you got do you think for some guys it may be a challenge to continue with that blunt you know, Put, having the blinders on after seeing that? Um, I mean, I can't speak for everybody uh, personally. Um, you know, but like I said, it, it might be in some guy's head. It might be just like if you go out there and, and you see a guy, you know, you see hard hits all the time. You see guys not get up from it. You know, that affects certain guys. Sure. Um, so it's definitely, you know, it'll, it'll affect everybody different personally. <coughs> but I think the biggest thing that, that for everybody, everybody just – Oh, college football, NFL football, I think everybody's going to go out there with a heavy heart. Um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing uh, about it. And, uh, you know, like I said, all of us just coming together and just praying that he's pulling through. You said it affects everyone differently emotionally. How are your emotions? Terry was saying that he's pretty emotional. 